During our study today, I want to teach on the subject, Saints That Cannot Stand. Hi, I'm Pastor Dean Hemphill, and you're watching 10 Minutes of Truth. I'm going to read today from the book of Ephesians, the 6th chapter, verse 10 and verse 11, on the subject, Saints That Cannot Stand. Paul says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or schemes or tricks of the devil. Christians that cannot stand. Today I'm going to give you four points on this from this time of Bible study. Why so many Christians cannot stand. Number one, physical strength is no match for the devil. Physical strength will not drive him away or your temptations or any attack from principalities or powers. Our physical strength has nothing to do with it. In our text in verse 10, notice what God says through Paul. My brethren, that saved people, be strong, here we go, in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. You can have a Christian in the bed of affliction, flat on his back, that can be strong in the Lord. You can have a Christian that's very strong physically, really strong physically, but cannot stand against the spiritual attacks of the devil. Christians who cannot stand. Let's notice what David says in Psalms 51 verse 3 on this point. He says to God, For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. David said this, You, God, you are the strong tower. You are the one that brings me strength. Physical strength is no match for the devil. In Corinthians, Paul says it this way, We are weak, but you are strong. The body plays a part in our life. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. When it comes to battles, when it comes to being a strong Christian, it has nothing to do with your physical strength. It has everything to do with how you and I depend upon the strength of Almighty God. Keep in mind, He is the strong tower. Keep in mind, we are strong. We can be strong in the Lord. Point number two, power is not of us. The power is not of us. Our text in verse 10, and and the power of His might. Let's read now so far what I've just covered. My brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power. Power means dominion or rule of His might. It's almost the same thing when it comes to how to stand against principalities and powers and evil wickedness. It all comes down to His rule, His dominion, His strength, and Him being the strong tower and the shelter. Again, nothing to do with us at all. It's just putting our faith in God's strength, God's Word, the Holy Spirit, constant prayer, and knowing we can stand in the evil day against the works of the devil. Number three, here we go to our part, part that we are responsible for. You'll find the Bible all the time what God says He will do, and then He'll include us, our part. So many promises from God are conditional promises. We, ha we have what He would do, and then here comes our part. Let's notice now today, when it comes to you and I standing, our part, and here it is. Put on the whole armor of God. That's our part. The armor of God is available, but God says you've got to put it on. Every day of our life, we must put on the whole arm of God. In Ephesians 6, we have in Ephesians 6, we have six pieces of armor, plus the next one I include is prayer. 
And these things must be put on our life every single day. To go out without the armor of God, you're not going to stand. Every piece means something special to a Christian. I like the shield of faith. And with the shield of faith, he promised us we can defeat all the fire darts of the wicked. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. These things must be put on as our part. They're available. But many Christians go through life what I call uh, spiritually nude. They don't, they, they don't have them on the whole arm of God. They have on the heaven of salvation. Thank God for that. But that in itself will not be the whole arm of God. All these pieces you and I must put on. We must dress ourselves constantly with the full armor of God. If we don't, we are not going to stand. Doesn't matter how much you pray for, how many sermons you hear, how much Bible you read. We have responsibility as a child of God all the time to put on the whole armor of God. You say, well, what's the purpose of doing this besides standing? Well, the main purpose is to stand. Verse 11, we find the words that you may be able to stand against the wiles or trickery of the devil. You see, that comes after you put on the whole arm of God. Then he says, once you put on the whole arm of God, you will be able to stand. Saints that cannot stand are the ones who do not put on the whole arm of God. Then he says, after you put on the whole arm of God, you can, you can stand against the wiles or the trickery of the devil. He has many tricks. He has many schemes. He has many wiles. And we cannot face those without our responsibility and our life to put on the whole arm of God. There are so many Christians every single week who say, I need encouragement. I'm in another valley. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to give up. I'm going to give in. And all the time, we have a Bible filled with instructions how every child of God can truly stand in these days that we live. It's not only possible, it's God's will that you and I, as a blood-bought child of Almighty God, that we stand in these last days. Stand. When you cannot get out of your bed, stand. If you cannot walk, stand spiritually. Stand spiritually. Trust God with his armor that every single day in your life, here comes the adversary, here comes the tricks, here comes the wiles, here comes the schemes that God says no. Put on the whole armor of God and yes, against all of that, you shall stand. I want to give the devil a black eye every single day. I hate him. I love God. I hate the devil. I want him to know in my life as a Christian, I want him to know I want to stand against him. And I cannot do it in the strength of Dean Hemphill. It has to be all God. It has to be all God. And it has to be my obedience to God and what he has promised he would do if you and I will do our part of God's promises. Until next time, from Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, I trust with God's help that you will have wonderful days.